Hey, good evening, YouTube, Brew by Me, back again. How y'all doing? Good, good, I hope. Anyways, tonight I'm going to be doing a special review. Um, this beer was sent to me by Nick of Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. Um, and uh, yeah, he sent it to me via Guy uh, when Guy was out there. Um, they had, a, they had a blast, obviously, and uh, he said, hey, can you bring these to Dale? And he said, yeah, no problem. So, I th he, there's three more that, that he sent me that I haven't reviewed yet, and the three that I haven't reviewed are all Pump House. Uh, well, yeah, there's three that he sent me that I, that, I, um, I, that I haven't got to reviewing yet. But two of the ones out of the three that he sent me, I have already reviewed because they were sent to me by Don of Don Rig 13's beer reviews. Um, um, so, anyway, so I have one left from Nick's shipment, which is, uh, I believe, Pump House Doppelbach. Um, and also, Don Rig 13 sent me a Pump House Doppelbach, so I have two of them. Um, so, anyways, so. Uh, this is the Guinness of Black Lager, which started showing up at the LCBO around here, um, but uh, it wasn't here when he sent it to me. I'm going to be using my Guinness glass. It has trees on it or something. I don't know. Anyways, so this is the Guinness of Black Lager. It brings it 4.5% ABV, St. James Gate, Dublin. Genuine quality, quality Guinness Black Lager. Um, brewed in Ireland. It's kind of a nice bottle. It's very slender. Easy to hold and stuff like that. Nice shape to it. There's some embossing on the glass of like harps, the Guinness harps. And uh, down here it's Guinness all the way around embossed. says it's best before the 14th of the first month of 2013 I think or I could be reading it wrong the four, 2014 01 so that would be the January the 13th 2014 which is good right now because today we are the 6th so standard genuine harp Cap, just like the other longer stuff. Some nice smokage there. Guinness Black Lager is cold brewed with roasted barley to deliver the refreshing taste of lager with the unique uh, character of Guinness. Um, anyways, so there is some, uh, I can see through, like, it's like uh, not pitch black. It's like very dark, 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 ruby red. You can f barely see through it in the light. Um, you know, so it's a very dark looking beer. Got a finger and a bit of head. And it's like an off-white mocha kind of head. Very tiny bubbles. Good looking beer. So, without further ado, let's give her a smell. Smells like a lager. Has some Guinness characteristics. Nice sweet malt presence there. Some roasted barley uh, characteristics. A slight bit of coffee and chocolate on the nose there. Earthy floral kind of hops. And that's about it. There's not too much to this beer. It's a black lager. That's what it is. It's 
So, cheers. Take a swig of it, there's some nice sweetness up front. So you take a swig of it, nice bit of sweetness up front. As it goes across your tongue, you pick up some um, of the roasted barley qualities, a little bit of coffee, a little bit of chocolate. Um, a very faint bit of dark fruits. Hits the back of your palate, dries out fairly nice. There is a nice little bit of bitterness there, floral, earthy type hops. Light body, light mouth feel. It's kind of pretty bang on what it says it is, it's a black lager. Um, you know, you got the you got a lot of the lager characteristics up front, um, but with the dark malts added, you get that extra uh, level of uh, flavor. Definitely, definitely. Uh, you know, if you like, um, if you like. Um, dark ales um, or stouts or porters and you don't mind the occasional lager but you'd like to try some of those dark ale characteristics it's not too bad actually you know it's bang on or for the most part across the board um, very 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 you know when you take a sip of this you know it's a lager um, but after you take a sip of it, then you get those different flavor profiles that you're not used to in your typical lagers because there's the dark malts. And as a lot of you know, um, I like my stouts, I like my porters, I like my IPAs, I like beers with flavor. And, uh, you know, this isn't bad. It's uh, fairly good. It's definitely an entry level um, beer. Um, the lager lovers, if they want to tr start to try and get into dark beers, this is one of those beers you'd like to pick up and give it a go and uh, you know try and get the the flavor um, for the dark beers because you know it it's exactly like a lager except it's made darker. Um, you know, all the flavor and uh, aroma and stuff like that is bang on with the lager. Um, you know, but then they upscaled it by adding the dark malt and you get those dark characteristics like the chocolate and the coffee and the dark fruits, you know. So it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's not bad. Definitely not the best Schwartz beer or black lager I've had, but you know what? It's good, and um, I wouldn't I wouldn't personally buy it again. Um, obviously, because I make my own beer and I enjoy my own beer. Um, but if it was given to me, I would enjoy it. I would. Um, you know, it's very easy drinking, very sessionable. Um, you know, the people that like their dark ales, they would like this. Um, so, yeah. Not much more I can tell you about the beer, except if you can, if you can find it, which I think is in the LCBOs now, if I'm not mistaken, um, and you want to try a darker lager, give it a go, because, you know, it's lager characteristics, but with the dark malt profiles. And, um, you know, it's very sessionable, very easy drinking, light body, light mouth feel, um, very refreshing, you know, except it's on the dark scale, so, 
Um, there you have it. Uh, malt profile, you got some two-row in there, some caramel crystal malts in there, some black malt in there, some chocolate malt in there, a slight bit of roasted barley. Um, hop profiles is probably the same hops they use in their Guinness. Um, uh, earthy floral kind of characteristics there. Um, German noble. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, not much more I can tell you. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Do any suggestions or ideas in the comments box. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I'll be back with some more reviews another day. Bye for now. Cheers!